All right, so here we are, guys. We're here with our new recruit training right now. We have a bunch of new stylists that we're bringing on. We have two very important people that will be graduating very soon. Actually, one's graduated, and one of us, one of them is here. Actually, believe it or not, she's here at, um, going from 11th to 12th grade. She's going to be a senior in high school. I invest in people very, very young, and this is something you should invest in, too, because this is part of my future as much as it is her future, so that's why we're educating today. So we're starting out today with the HD cut, and what does HD mean? Hair dimensions. Hair dimensions, exactly, all right? Some of y'all can say it's high definition, it's hybrid, it's something else, whatever. It's the hair dimensions cut. I have made millions of dollars off of this haircut. I cannot even explain to you how much money we've made off this haircut. That's why I'm starting with this haircut first. So we'll go very simple, you know? What's gonna happen here is we have something called the back of the head. The back of the head's very important. When you take a look at the back of the head, there's gonna be five sections that I want you to pay attention to. On the five sections, one of the parts that's very important, thing, uh, excuse me, very important to pay attention to is gonna be the occipital bone. So if you take a look at the picture and take a look here, that's gonna be the occipital bone. What that has to do with is the curve of the head. That is where the head begins to curve right in here. So if you've ever, ever watched me cut hair, which I have because y'all have assisted me already, what happens is anything past that line is gonna be your length. It has nothing to do with volume, it has nothing to do with movement. So we have that word written there for a reason. It's called the nose zone. The next thing I want you to see is I don't like to see any lines in the head. I, don't, I like more of what we call like diminished lines or more zero line cutting. So zero line cutting, people wanna know about that, right? This is how you develop zero line cutting, all right? It's very basic. We're gonna follow the natural curve of the head, but the most important thing is that 45 degree angle that you see right there. You learn a lot of things in school, but they don't teach you this. That 45 degree angle means everything because what you learn in school is to cut square, 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 more like a circle, but when you notice when the cup comes down, it has like a little line in the very back of the head. And you end up having to go out there and do what? Blend it out. Why are you blending it out? You shouldn't have to. Another thing we're gonna talk about very seriously, but I think we've talked about it very briefly right here. Can y'all say one thing to the audience out there? What is one thing I do different than anybody else? You don't cut straight lines. There you go, no straight lines, okay? No straight lines. And y'all thought it was a huge audience, didn't y'all? I work for anybody, okay? Let me tell you, if it's one person, two people, you have to make it happen, it doesn't matter. Education is education. So right there, we have the lines coming in. There's three sections, it's one section that's traveling. So we'll have a section that'll start here, and then it'll move depending on how much hair is in there. You might be able to go from here to here, but if a hair's thick, you might have to go click, 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 all the way through. Cut that 45 degree angle, look how it's gonna lay on top of each other. So when it comes down, there are absolutely no lines. The thickness is here, the body is there, everything is right there. But you can't get to this point until you get to this point first. And I've watched me do this before. We're either gonna cut one, two, or three fingers away from the body. It's all gonna determine on what type of action that we're looking for. If you want volume, you want movement, that's gonna all depend on what type of action you're looking for. One, two, or three. And okay, so this is gonna be very important so that when you're learning how to cut the hair, those are gonna determine how much volume and movement you have in the hair. So if you have someone who wants just a basic bottom line, straight cut towards the bottom, you're gonna go one finger away from the body. If you wanna have a little bit of movement, you go two fingers away from the body. If you wanna have an expansion to create body in the hair, you go three fingers away from the body. And that's where it all starts to make the difference because now you can start to visualize, even on the baseline of how we're making success happen immediately from the very first cut that you make. And that is huge, guys. We make the very first cut we make coming from the length is gonna be huge. That's how we're gonna determine that movement, and that's how we're determining that action right there. And that is gonna be the beginning of what's gonna happen in the haircut to come, okay? All right, if you like what you're seeing today, don't forget, you like, you post, and you share. Share this as much as you can. We have a contest we're gonna be doing. I'm watching you, you're watching me. I'd love to see what you're doing. Please ask questions. We're growing this business together, and I wanna grow it with you. So take a look at what we're doing. I can also do a live Skype. You could have been here at this class today if you would have only engaged. The only difference is that you didn't engage with me. So check it out. Anybody who wants to, the next class I teach, I will teach you live Skype at the same time. It can happen all over like this. We have what we call technology. Let's use it, people. You can be in California and sitting in this class right now, but you're not because you didn't. You didn't make that opportunity for yourself. So let's make the opportunity for yourself, and let's make this thing happen, okay? My name is Joe Anthony. This is Hair Dimensions. All right, say hello to my group. Say bye-bye, everybody. <laughs> Looking for the next champions are sitting right here. So when you come to Victoria, Texas, you know who asked for. All right, guys. Like, post, and share. You know how it works. Love you. See you soon. Bye.